Hey cuties and welcome back to Cutie Nails where everything we do here is all about nails. So cuties, I've been telling you guys about this trick that I learned from this cutie here on YouTube. I don't want to mess up her name, but I'm going to show y'all exactly what it is. I basically make nail beds for my red iguana practice hand using dual forms. So what you need are dual forms. I basically picked out the sizes for each finger as prescribed by Red Iguana and I just insert it all the way into that nail bed. And now I am going to mark just below, just below the cuticle area so that way I'm not putting this permanent marker on my practice hand. And I'm gonna mark as far down as I want the nail tip to go or the, the free edge to go. So I'm going to do that for all of those. Then I'm going to take this out and start applying a thin layer of Builder Gel from that final black mark right there that I marked all the way up to that cuticle area on the dual form. I decided to use my IBD pink today because I really don't use this color. It is a very sheer pink. So I figured I'll use this to make all the tips that I need, but you guys can see how little I'm applying to my brush and I am just going to spread that out from sidewall to sidewall and all the way down to the cuticle area of the nail. Not the dot that I made at the cuticle area, but past that so that way when this form is cured, I can insert it all the way into the well of the practice hand like I did or like you would do when you're inserting nail tips. Now that I'm all done with that and I have a nice thin layer in there, I am gonna cure this for 60 seconds. Then I'm gonna take it out of the lamp and I am gonna show you guys in a little bit an extra step that I take in order to make sure that these don't break. So I'm just gonna show y'all one more time, probably gonna show y'all an additional time I think. So that way you guys can see exactly how much product I'm putting in there. It really is not a lot. You just need a thin layer. Um, I do believe that you can also do this with acrylic because I have seen Nailed by Nikki and a couple other cuties on YouTube use dual forms with their acrylic application. I've seen it done with the lazy girl method. So I know for a fact that you can do these. So if you wanna create nail beds for your red iguana pack practice hand without damaging it by placing glue onto a nail tip and adhering that to the hand, this is going to be a great hack for you. Now this is the extra step that I take. I just basically take another small bead and just spread it onto this already, you know, created nail bed. And then I just pop that back into the lamp for another 60 seconds. And that kind of, kind of gives it like a little extra sturdiness and fills any, you know, gaps or bubbles that may have been missed at first. So yeah, just do that. And it'll also help prevent the tip from breaking. So cutie, if you are new to my channel, I hope that you would consider subscribing and becoming a part of the cutie family. I post videos every Tuesday and I'm dropping shorts every Friday so you will know what's coming up within the next week. Now that all of the nail beds have been cured, all I do is just get some alcohol on one of my lint-free wipes and I wipe off that tacky layer that's on the the nail area 
and I'm just gonna clean up Camille real quick so that way I can show you guys how I remove the nail beds that I made out of the dual forms and how I insert them back into my practice hand. So I basically just pinch the sides and then I wiggle the tip area and it slides right out. And you guys can see I have a full length nail bed that I am going to insert into my practice hand. And that is pretty much it. It's that simple. It slides all the way in. That's why you take it all the way from the free edge all the way back to that cuticle area on the dual form and you have basically created nail beds that stay flush to the well of the practice finger. I am loving this trick or tip. I haven't had any issues with when I apply tips that it looks like the tip is like pointing towards the ceiling. I haven't had any issues with the nail slipping out of the well. I haven't had any issues since I started doing this. So I'm going to show you guys one more time so y'all can see step by step what to do. Now after I've got all the tips made, I am going to just clean off the surface to make sure there isn't any tackiness on the nail beds. <laughs> then I'm going to file around the edges to get the length and shape that I'm looking for. And yeah, that's pretty much gonna be it. After this, I'm ready to apply some tips and start working a set for you guys. And that's pretty much it how you do this it's that simple it's that easy i want to thank the original creator again for you know publishing this on youtube i hope that my video was as helpful to you guys as it's been to me and as always i'll most definitely talk to y'all in my next one bye